YouTubers. Hi, bro. Hi, Jay. People in the box, welcome to Cedar Point. Wait. This isn't Cedar Point. Welcome to the A-Frame. Kite Man Group Fun at Cedar Point. We're doing Boardwalk Night Show. It's a nighttime show. Runs for four hours. It's like a giant circus act along the boardwalk to draw people into their brand new boardwalk that they just created. It is a circus. It is a circus. Man, there's high dive acts, there's kite flying, there's fire spinning, um, there's the wheel of destiny, there's trampoline contortionists. That's crazy. Oh man, it's crazy. It is quite, quite the sight. Yeah. But welcome to our house. It's a cool little A-frame. Got a loft up top, full on kitchen. Set up the projector, as you can see. It's a cool place. <clears throat> we got a piles of kites built by myself, John Trinopole, Hunter Brown. We got quite the quiver to go out on the beach and show some people the fun. My room is exploded, but got a cool little room. Door walks right out. Can't, we can't really show you this. But look at that, the water is right there. What a spot, eh? So anyway, before we go show you some kite flying and all that kind of stuff, we're going to go into the park and explore the park a little bit. We'll show you some rides at the greatest amusement park in the world, Cedar Point, America's Roller Coast. So much Cedar Point traffic. Saturday morning, people trying to get into the park. There's like a two mile long causeway after this. And that's all jammed up too. Wow. at the park. Chris will come along with me. One of the perks to work in here is we get a pass to go into the park. So, pre-show on a crazy Saturday. We're going to show you what the park is like, all the cool rides that are here. Uh, it is packed. Everybody's getting it in before the kids go back to school. So it is, it is uh, pretty busy today. Let's go see what Cedar Point offers. Hotel Breakers. That's a resident hotel that's been at Cedar Point here forever. Beautiful building. Uh, restaurants, bars, pools. Beach right across the way here. Gorgeous spot. They got a water Especially, park. oh they got a water park. A little splash pad water park back there for the kids. Uh, yeah, it's going on out here. Um, Hotel Breakers, beautiful place, uh, very historic, and man, it's, uh, I don't know, it could be a, it's just actually not too expensive to stay there uh, for the amount of stuff that's out here. It's a really cool spot to be. So I'm in my sweet summer shirt. Got shorts on. Crystal's wearing a hoodie. I got a hoodie. And pants. I don't know what's going on. Welcome to the entrance of the park, guys. We're here, they got a nice billboard for us right at the carousel. We are at the front gate, which is the best front gate of any amusement park ever because we have the gatekeeper. 
great roller coaster that literally goes through the keyholes in the gate right there just like you see went through a keyhole in each side of the front gate where you come in the park this ride is so sick look at that it goes back there they go you sit on the side of the track and a few different flips and rolls and then like I say it goes through the keyholes right in the front gate dude great great ride we got the Raptor 1994 I believe is when this baby was built it was it's the first ride to incorporate what they call a Cobra roll which is pretty sweet it's it's in the back right there that's a Cobra roll this thing had more inversions than any ride at the time check this out Classic side by side racing coaster. Old wood guy, got two cars, two tracks right next to each other racing. A couple of the corners, you can actually high five people. It's awesome. That's, uh, that's a classic right there. Top thrill. Now, top thrill two. Not running, sadly. But should be soon. They've been testing and stuff's going on. Yeah, man, the park is busy. Lots of people doing their Cedar Point thing. That's a big no. I have an idea being recorded by Cassidy. <laughs> Welcome to Frontier Town. Everything's kind of western themed. Got the mine ride back there. It's a sweet little roller coaster. Jiggles when you go in the corners and stuff. It's awesome. But yeah, it's like a western themed town here. We are headed towards what used to be the main streak. Great classic wooden roller coaster. Now they call it Steel Vengeance because they replaced the track with a steel track. It goes upside down, does all kinds of stuff. There's like 26 seconds of zero G airtime on the ride, so that's pretty wild. That thing's incredible. Holds a crap ton of records for a reason. Fantastic. That and Millennium Force, worth the price of admission alone. Woo! Also back here by Steel Vengeance is a Maverick. Maverick's sweet. It uh, isn't connected to, but coincidentally enough is like flying a jet fighter plane. It's a wild, twisty, turny, crazy ride. Not even very big, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. We haven't ridden the train yet. Been here a little while and haven't done it. So let's see the sights. They decorate the side of the tracks for Halloween. So we're gonna see some Halloween stuff, I'm sure. Train time!
Welcome to the Skyhawk. <laughs> that thing. Snoopy store is incredible. I'm looking for some holders to hold my sunglasses on my face so I can ride rides with my sunglasses. So we're on the mission. Maybe we can find a Snoopy one. Found what I was looking for. Not the Snoopy one I wanted, but hey, see your point. Let's go ride some rides with Classic, the swings. My kind of ride there. It's been here a while. Look at the classic. That is this baby. Those are old swings. Where are we driving? I don't know, but we're going off road. Yeah. This is Val Raven. Sweet ride. There's a car going up now. It hangs you over the edge of that perfectly straight down drop right there. And they actually hang you there for a second before they release you into the rest of the ride. It's crazy. If you're on one of the outside seats, you can't see track and you just see down to the ground. Pretty wild. Look at these guys. And they hang them. And then they release him. Just outside the park, we got the marina. Beautiful, full marina here. It's about a hundred bucks a night. It'll hold your big boats, your little boats, and you can get some barbecue because there's a Famous Dave's right outside of the park, just outside of Val Raven. If you if you look for that crazy thing with the straight down drop, it's just outside of that. Millennium Force, best ride in the world. Used to be the tallest, fastest coaster in the world. Has been trumped by some other rides now, but that was built in like 2000 and wins awards all the time for best steel coaster. Smooth, fast, 315 feet tall, 92 mile an hour in the drop. And then the rest of the time, it doesn't even go upside down. It's just fast, smooth, open corners. Millennium Force is fantastic. Red Garter Saloon, right there. Right by Millennium Force in Rougarou. Uh, that is the place if you're looking for a beer on draft or the coldest air conditioning in the park that is not just employee accessible. That's the place right there, man. Go there. Live bands, cold beer. Place to do it. Came to the petting zoo. The famous goats. Yep, the famous goats and then the camels. Let's go see them. They are the famous camels. Troublemaker. Not her. <laughs> that's a camel. And that's a camel. Okay? Not her. We've been through I'm this. Yeah, we've been through this in other videos. But that's the famous camels. The ones we've seen that went viral getting out and loose in the park and running around. That's these guys. Gotta love Millennium Force. <laughs> like most days, we're waiting for Dre 
Oh wait, you can't see those. We... Yeah. We all ride together in the kite mobile. But it takes a few minutes for Dre to remember his keys, um, his wallet. Today, it appears to be a long sleeve t-shirt. It's what it's like traveling as a team. Where are your sleeves, bro? Push your sleeves, bro. Ford Tough right here. Been flying these kites for too long, got a lot of forearm strength, and didn't even realize it had not Dang! Nope. Kite tough. Hell yeah. Kite power. Cut that. It's worth walking in one Thank you. You're welcome. Here we are. Backstage. This is where we set up our kites. Let's get ready for the show. Usually arrive about 6 p.m. Gives us about an hour before we gotta be right out on the beach right there. Cool spot, man. Then we usually go to the cafeteria, get some food after we set up the kites. But this is our digs. Check it out. After we get set up, we usually got a few minutes to chill out, sit on the bench here, right on the edge of the office. We're here for official business to investigate the wind for the night. So you know, we're working while we hang out here. Typically, you got about 10 minutes after we set up the kites and go get something to eat. You got a little bit of time to chill. And then show starts. Away we go. After we take our little break, it's time to go. We get to walk backstage, grab our kites, and then head straight out there to the field. Lemmy's rocking. This is how we start the day every day. Typically sunny, beautiful, amazing day on the lake. Look at this. The water is gorgeous and the sun is just starting to go down and we'll get a sunset through our entire, uh, all, our, all six of our sets. 
it's it's amazing. It's the place to be. Love it, man. I mean, show flying is totally different from festival flying or anything else. You gotta do it. There's no choice. You gotta fly no matter what the wind is. But today, folks, we've got great wind. It's mid-vent today. Never know what you're gonna get, but today it's mid-vent. Behold Dre, the keeper of the field. Birds are no match for the callison. It's a typical work day. Just another day in the office. Kites are set up. We got mid vents going. Be another beautiful day here at Cedar Point for Boardwalk Nights. DJ Lemmy's got it fired up, man. We're one set in. We got five more to go. Let's watch some more kites. <laughs> Alright, Cedar Point, it's that time again. Let's welcome back the Kite Men Kite Show. flag is like made of silk, flies all the time. The banners just ever so lightly wiggling. And here we are, find the SULs baby team, doing balls, bursts, fly throughs, one by two by ones, bangers and mash. This is where it's at, man. This thing is freaking sweet. Hey, Dre. How's the wind? Uh, what are you talking about? What wind? Wind. Wind, wind. It's out there somewhere, right? What's wind? Somewhere it's windy. Somewhere. Not here. Way out yonder. You gotta go way out yonder. It's windy out there somewhere, I swear. But if you're here on this, if you're here on this line, that's the spirit. There's no wind. So we're gonna do some stuff. 
Look at the banners. They're just they're just hanging out. Alright, Cedar Boy. That's right again. I'm your host, DJ Lemmy. Give of our first kite show of the night. This is why we do it, man. It's so fun. Every time we land a kite, they cheer. You know, every time we put the kites down and we finish between sets, they all want to talk and ask how we didn't get them tangled. That is the question of the event. How do you not get them tangled? So we get to talk about kites then and tell them all about the magic, and then they get super interested. Man, this is a freaking spot to be, dude. Sunset every night. Oh, the wind right now is coming over the pavilion, so it's not the best. It's a little lumpy, uh, but that's kind of prevailing wind, and we had like two and a half weeks of straight onshore at the beginning. So this is cool. This is my life. Love what I do. And all of the work and time is worth it, because look at my office. It's a freaking beach at an amusement park. Life is weird. Buy a kite, I'll teach you how to fly it, and you can come here too. Gorgeous. 
Gordon, Denver. Six more shows to go, guys. It's almost over already. That's so sad. Everybody's gonna go home and sleep in their own bed, which is cool. But they're leaving me here in the Midwest to fly a team with Sky FX again. I guess that's not so bad, huh? We all got teams to go to. You still got me. That's right. We all got teams. Yeah, have a good one. We've all got teams to go back to. And, you know, get ready for the next one. Lindsay's gonna head back to Whiskiff. Crystal's gonna move to Michigan. Dre's gonna go fix a bank. That's right, you heard it here. Dre's world. He's fixing a bank. He's gonna live in that thing. Like, in the vault. That's where he's gonna survive and live forever. Lock that boy away. Every single night when we leave here, right in time to pack our kites up and walk down the boardwalk, walk out of here, we get to see Alan. Alan is this crazy, crazy high diver. He's climbing up the tower, that's 80 feet up, jumping into a puddle. But look at him, he is up there, man. the signs there for you, Dre. That one up there? Yep. This is a crazy day. It's super windy today. So I'm actually at the beach. And we're gonna check out the beach for erosion and uh, survey it for damage. Yeah, you heard that correctly. So with Lake Erie, um, what happens uh, when the wind blows east and west, because the lake is really long east-west, we don't get waves from currents or anything here, uh, but the wind will blow the water from one side of the lake to the other. And that's kind of where we're at right now. We got an onshore wind, heavy as all get out. Uh, so we're gonna even see if we can go fly. Let's check out this beach, man. Wild day today. She windy. The, the lake is angry. You can see that. Oh, we gotta go into sport mode here. Now we're good. Wow, what a day. We haven't seen a day like this yet. So, I don't know, man. Do we fly or not? It's looking like we're not gonna fit. The, the water is up so high, I don't think we're gonna fit on the beach. Wow, this is incredible. Good news is, the rides are still going. Yeah, you know, it's something. It's something. All right guys, we've arrived at the field. Oh boy. It's wet. We're meeting up with the Cedar Point officials now to declare us not flying tonight because there's a pond 
as you can see, in the middle of our field. Lake Erie is there. Official word has come down. We are off tonight. It is unsafe to fly in Lake Erie when the waves are doing what they're doing. Um, they're gonna cut the fire. They're gonna cut the high dive. They're gonna cut the Wheel of Destiny. They're gonna cut a bunch of stuff from tonight's show because it's just, it's, it's nasty. Yes, we can fly in this. We have kites, we can make it work. But for the greater good of the show, we don't just like to make it work. Um, sometimes this is just what you have to do, you gotta call it. That's a bummer. Because we like flying kites. But today is just not the day. We'll be back tomorrow with fresh new beach. Who knows what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be really smooth. Uh, another day of show flying. Like, so, now that we're basically driving on the beach, head back to the house and uh, we'll chill. Uh, we have an employee party tonight, so uh, we might see some of that. I'm not sure what's going to go on with that, though, if it's still going off like this. It's, uh, it's not awesome outside right now. But we'll see what they'll do. Onward. I don't know if this number is accurate, but I think maybe three and a half feet, I can get my feet off the ground if I jump. I don't know. I've never tried this. I don't even know if that's a real number. Three feet? Well, it's a real six. number. I mean, well, three it? feet is a well. Three feet's probably about the countertop. I can get my feet that high. I bet. Okay. Okay. So this is a gauge. So we're gonna go about that high. All right. right. Okay. Three and a half feet. Yep. Did I do it? Oh, I think. Wow. Yeah, you were there. I did it. Yes. Yes. Now you got to get it as high as the second level of the counter. Yeah. I'll, I'll go for that, and I bet I get right. higher than that. Okay. All right. So you can't like jump. Okay. Okay. I'm just I'm standing judging. still. I'm judging. Okay. You want me to love you? You gotta love me back. Oh, no. That was lower. No. That was worse. It got worse. So we are the oldest continuously operating lighthouse on all of the Great Lakes. The Coast Guard's been maintaining this light since the 1930s. And then our park service operates the building. And then you're going to be going up some stairs with this little thing there. You're going to have 77 steps to go up. There's a handrail the whole way up, so use the handrail. <laughs> We're taking the day and checking out the Marblehead Lighthouse. Let's see what we can see up here, huh? How are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. It smells like the cave, is that what you said? It feels like the cave. It smells like the cave. Seventy-seven steps to the top. We're getting there. Well, at least you're behind. Here we go. Pretty sweet. Great. Do you need to take a break? This is number three. <laughs> Did anybody count again? Oh man. Do we know where we're at? I lost track. I got to start over. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm somewhere between one and seventy-seven. Give <laughs> <laughs> me look at Bubba. What do you? Why do I need that? To hold it. Why? Oh. Because if somebody comes back at me, I'd rather have one hand. We're up here. It is beautiful view <laughs> all the way around 360 degrees. Lake Erie at its finest. Nice. Nice. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> 
58 miles to Detroit that way. We got Putin Bay, beautiful island. Used to be like Key West, it was wild times. You go there, rent golf carts, get all my stuff. Not quite the same anymore. Kelly's Island, which has a lot of cool glacier features, uh, some really cool historical stuff like that. Beautiful place to go. Buffalo, New York, it's that way. 216 miles. I don't think I can see that. I don't think you can see it that far. Not today. Man, it is absolutely gorgeous and perfect today. It's like it is a 75, sunny, nice breeze. Beautiful. This is Great Lake summer, man. It does not get any nicer than right now. I guess I could have my feet on the ground because that would be a little nicer. But but we're good. We're good. I ain't scared of no heights. That's a lie. That's this one. That's a lie. She is scared of heights. She's a fraidy cat. You should see her shaking when she gets up there. Seen his knees trembling in that paraglider. It wasn't me. Going down is not fun. Going Somebody, in the secret hole? I'm going in the glory hole. Oh. Uh oh. That is cool. Dude, it's the inside the walls of the freaking lighthouse. This is insane. <laughs> Dude. I mean... Freaking sweet. Somebody almost got splashed. I almost got wet. Ha! <laughs> Rock hopping. That's kind of the sport around here. You enjoy the uh, the marble head of Marblehead, and you run around on all these rocks, enjoy different scenery bits, take pictures. It is just, it's just freaking gorgeous out here. Love the Great Lakes, baby. There ain't no place like this. That's my what I can show for today. Once <laughs> he finally wakes up. Oh, I need to tell you what up to. Waking up. Gemini. Waking up is hard to do. Magnum. Ooh, I need the Magnum. I haven't ridden this one yet. And I don't think and I'm going to. The best of the best. Millennium Force. Cheers! Cheers! Oh yeah! Mm. Yeah! Kites, baby. Here's Kites. to you. Yeah, yeah! Here's to kite man. Here's to Bruce. Cheers! <laughs> oh man, almost forgot. Can't miss the last show. He's been with us every single show. Let's roll, Bruce. Hello. On a little bit of a rain delay today, so we actually get to come in and see some stuff, which is pretty sweet.
Last day. Last day. Six shows to go. Kites are set up. Looks like Midven is the choice of the day. Which is a good way to end the show. Yeah. Man, I can't believe it's over already. What happened to the time, Dre? I don't know. It is crazy. It seems like it's only been, like, like, I don't know, two weeks, three days, and six hours. To me. Sounds about right. It's insane. It goes so fast. It feels like three weeks, four days, and three hours. Depends on the consumption of beverages. Uh, that That distorts time. So, here we are. At the end already. We distorted time. It happened fast. Sometimes it feels like yesterday. Man, I can't believe it's over already. Well, let's go fly some kites and into this puppy on the right note with a mid-man. Let's go, baby. better. even a little bit brighter than it actually is out here, but that's looking pretty fresh, eh? Check out the midway at night. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous Denver. Give some bad pictures. We just wrapped up guys last show finished now we are actually coming into the boardwalk in the park to see all the stuff that we don't get to see ever and one of the cool things they do is they have a pin collection or a button collection and you have to go to all the different acts take a picture of them post it on social media and you get these buttons Check that out. There's all there's buttons for everything, and there's a kite one that we have. You're gonna see some skin, but we got a kite one. It's awesome. What a cool thing, man. So cool. Let's see what it's around here. There we are. We got a float in the parade. That's a big boardwalk knife float. And look, kites. Kites. Yeah, those are our kites. 
that we printed oh, and you, built. Oh, you yeah. built these guys? Yeah. Oh, wow. Woo. Kite man. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah. great. There are games all over the boardwalk. You can ring a seagull and win a stuffed seagull. They got the, the hit the bell with the hammer. Man, this place is insane in here. Okay, boardwalk nights, light up toys, swords. This is incredible. Look at the freaking Ferris wheel. Dude, Ferris wheel is incredible here. What else is here? show has come the crew is packing up and heading out thanks for coming along and hope you enjoyed this ride as much as we did from cedar point and kite man group Woo! peace Woo! out we love you till the next one